go, it's your man Mike Bowens. I'm coming to you once again, live and direct. Listen, last time I made a video, sickness cannot live in my body. And a few people uh, wrote into me, that's great, Mike, I'm happy for you, but you never told us how you lost the weight. And so, like I said, I, I filmed this video previously last week, but it was just so long that I had to try to condense it because what I was going to do is just make um, each video by itself and, and separate it by just, let me just put it all together once again, but try to go just a little quicker and the steps that I took and am still taking because it's a lifestyle for me. Okay, so this is entitled how I transform my body. How I transform my body. So number one, I was determined to make a change. You know, uh, so last, uh, I think it was January, I went to the doctor and uh, the doctor said to me, you know how you get blood work done. The doc doctor said to me, um, you don't have diabetes, but you're borderline. I said, what, me? But the fact of the matter is that's, that was a fact because though I was eating properly or not eating terrible, I was not exercising at that time. I just was, you know, working, grinding, grinding, working, working, grinding, grinding. And I would eat properly, but I still was gaining weight because I was not moving nearly as much as I, as my body needed to. And so what happened was I was gaining weight year after year, year after year. You know, you, you know, you go to put clothes on and they don't fit you anymore. So you go throw them to the side and you go get some new clothes and those start not to fit you anymore. And then you go get some new clothes and your face just starts swelling up. You're like, dang, I mean, I didn't even realize that people see you like, man, you gained weight. You're like, really? I don't feel like it. But I was. And so when she said that to me, it was a, it was a wake up call. And I was like, all right, I got to make a change. So what I did was I signed up to the gym. This is step two. I signed up to the gym and I paid for it for the whole year. I went to sign up to Planet Fitness. It's only like 10 bucks a month, okay? Sign up for the year, I think it was discount to give you for $99. And you paid a little fee up front, like 40 bucks. And then I was going, at first I was going two times, three days a week. And then I said, you know, I want to stick with something that I can stick with for life. So then I just started going three times a week and mainly doing cardio. See, I'm not at the stage where I'm pumping iron and all the stuff like that. I do a little bit, but I even backed off of that for now. And my main goal is just to do cardio. So I get up there with the older guys, you know, even though I'm a young guy, and I get on my bike. I don't even do the treadmill at this point. I was doing that, but I like the, the bike. I like the cycle. You got to stick with stuff that you like, right? And I go in there and I just burn calories. I listen to my music. And I pedal and I pedal and I pedal and I pedal and I burn calories. And I get into a rhythm and I do this three times a week. And I notice that I'm more conscious now of the food that I eat because you can go to the gym and sit on the cycle and burn 450 calories, but it may take you an hour and a half. Now, if you look at the food that you eat, you can, you can eat 450 calories in a half an hour or 20 minutes. Right, a bagel with cream cheese? Ooh, that's a lot of calories. And I started researching, I'm like, nah, man, I can't eat like this, right? So, number three, or number two, I don't remember exactly what I did, um, what number it is, but the next thing I did was I researched the Blue Zones. Now, the Blue Zones gives the areas where people live at the longest in the world. And I started to research what they eat, how they eat, and... Oh, there was only one blue zone in America, and that was in California. And these people had a diet that they got from the Bible. So they eat oatmeal for breakfast. They eat mainly fruits and vegetables, and they may eat fish, right? And so I started to research um, Dr. Jawanda Kunjufu's book, Satan, I'm Taking Back My Health. Then I read and I listened to... Uh, no Incurable Diseases by Dr. Schultz. Then I read um, Immortal by Dr. Joe Wallet. Then I read uh, The Maker's Diet by Jordan Rubin. And so with all this knowledge, I was able to put it into a plan for myself. See, a lot of people don't research how things work. They just live. 
and life is like broken down to a science. And if you can find out the proper systems and begin to implement it in your life, you'll get the same results as the next person. And so what I noticed that um, from reading these books is that most people that live the longest do not eat a heavy meat diet. They mainly eat fruits and vegetables, right? And if they eat um, some type of uh, something other than fruits and vegetables, it may be fish or it may be lamb or you know or grilled chicken, but not often because your your diet should be ninety percent fruits and vegetables and maybe ten percent uh, meat. So your plate, my plate went from uh, meats and a little bit of veggies to majority of veggies. <coughs> excuse me to majority of veggies and a little bit of meat and so a lot of people say oh I, I, I don't believe you're eating meat and I'm like I'm not a vegetarian I'm just you know I gotta make these changes because when I went to the doctor the doctor said I was borderline diabetes not anybody else me and so I had to make these changes for myself so when you're making these changes you can't really care what nobody else says about you what nobody else thinks about you because you only get one body and you got to take care of your temple your body is the temple of God because God lives inside of me. And so I can't walk around sick. I can't walk around with illnesses because I can't live my best life. I can't do what God put me on this earth to do. Okay, so that's what I started to do. I started to research and really start to un understand how the body works and what the body needs and how people live the longest in certain parts of the world. And why they're able to continue to walk with no canes and why they still can see at 95 years old and why people still having kids and 86 and 87 years old in some parts of the world where here in america the average age of living is like in the 70s where other parts of the world where they don't have as much technology people live into 100 like hong kong 102 costa rica 101 you know a part of Italy 101 you know some parts of Japan 102 and so you got to think like dang what is America doing that people dying so fast with other parts of the world they're living so long and so that's why I started researching because I said you know what I don't want to die early I want to live a long healthy prosperous life okay so that's the next thing I started to do Okay, uh, next thing I, I learned from the research was that your body and your brain is made up of, your brain is made up of 76% water and your body is made up of 73% water. So if you're not getting enough water in your body, that's how you could cause um, kidney stones and that's how you could cause uh, kidney failure because your body is not getting enough water. That's how people don't think as sharp as they, they could because their brain is not getting enough water which turns into oxygen to the brain i mean when the bible says that you're fearfully and wonderfully made he ain't never lie because the same amount of minerals that's in the ground is it is in the human body because god made man from the dust of the earth which it says in genesis so everything the bible is talking about you can see in man in reality you can see it in life and so that's what I got from my research and from my studies. And I said, whoa. So I have to have the same amount of minerals and vitamins coming into my body every day. And so one of the things that I researched and I could see was that by juicing, right, fruits and vegetables, I'm able to get those minerals back into my body and also buying supplements and putting it back into my body every single day. Right? So get yourself a juicer and begin to juice and how many times should you juice as often as you can because a lot of times your body is so depleted that's why people's hair is falling out or their hair is getting thin or their nails are brittle or they have heart palpitations it's your body letting you know that something's wrong right or you have a trouble going to the bathroom you know you don't eliminate you should eliminate three times a day at a, at a minimum some people don't go once a day some people go you know, once every three days. And that's not healthy for your immune system. You want to keep your colon as clean as possible. 
that's another thing that I learned during my research is that my colon must be kept as clean as possible. So therefore you don't want to overwhelm it with a lot of different foods, especially meat, because it takes longer for meat to digest than it does for fruits and vegetables. Look, the fruits and vegetables go in, they come it out. And you don't have to struggle to, to eliminate. It's just going to come out. You know, so you better make sure you stay by bathroom. <laughs> so uh, back to the water. What I did was I purchased a jug. Actually, my wife purchased a jug for me that uh, you're supposed to drink eight glasses of water a day. So this jug um, allows me to drink eight glasses of water a day. It's, it's, once you fill up to the top, it's the equivalent of eight glasses of water. So I do is fill it up in the morning and I just drink it throughout the day. And sometimes I drink two of those a day. And I noticed that by me doing that, I was not waking up with headaches anymore. Because previously, before that, I was waking up with headaches. And two, when I was overweight, I was snoring so bad that my wife looked like she wanted to just beat me in the head with the lamp. <laughs> she just wanted to crack me in the head. And so I was like, you know, I got to make some changes here. So by going to the gym regularly, changing my diet, right? Um, stop eating um, cheese because cheese also is, um, it causes you to snore. It causes mucus. So, you know, I'm trying to find an alternative cheese, like maybe goat cheese. I'm looking into that. I haven't tried it as yet. Um, but these are the steps that I've been taking. And it's like, once you get this knowledge, once I read all these books and I, and I listened to all these audio books on the proper foods to eat and how to exercise, what I should be doing and the amount of water I should be drinking and what fruits and vitamins, I mean, fruits and vegetables I should be eating, what vitamins I should be taking. Ah, oh, my whole life has changed. I feel like a teenager again, but with a, the mind that I have now. So I'm in such a good position because my body feels tremendously good, but I have the mind and knowledge of a person who's an adult, if that make any sense. And so I just want to encourage you out there. If you need these steps, again, if you want me to go more in depth, I will. Uh, if you want me to make a video on um, me juicing, what do I juice, or me going to the gym, I can do that. Make a little compilation video. Just let me know. And uh, I pray that you take control of your health. It's one thing to pray and ask God to heal your body, but it's another thing to use the tools that God has given us in wisdom and discipline and to use it every single day that your life will be uh, beneficial and your life will be blessed and that you don't have to constantly pray for healing because you're walking in health. This is your man, Mike Bowens. I'm signing off until next time. And I'm saying be blessed.